we're discussing the topic of circumcision tonight with a focus on routine male infant circumcision so as to distinguish it from other forms of circumcision or whether it be done at a different age. Um, so let me start right off the bat and say, I am personally against this procedure. So I don't want to mislead anyone into thinking this is going to be a completely fair and balanced discussion. It's not because I'm biased, but I have, I think a diverse panel tonight, although maybe they're not diverse. Maybe they all agree with me. I didn't consult anyone uh, to get everyone's opinion on what this, uh, how they felt about this. So it should be an interesting discussion regardless. Um, so I'm against male infant circumcision. I'm also against general cutting, to, so to speak, of really anyone, right? In the absence of a medical reason. But I'm also aware that there are strong arguments, or at least we're gonna see if there's strong arguments or not from people who are for the procedure. Um, now, with that being said, I'm aware that this is a controversial topic. It touches on culture, tradition, religion, personal rights, and freedoms. Consequently, people have very passionate views about it. So it's important that I discuss this in a way that's at least respectful to those opinions and the various schools of thought. I want to approach the topic delicately because in addition to people who may be in favor of this procedure, I recognize that there's also men who have been circumcised that might be insecure about that. There's also parents that have had this done to their children who might be regret parents. Um, and then there's also parents who feel like they made the correct decision, but I don't want to make anyone feel insecure or like they're bad parents or anything. So the goal here is to be informative without stigmatizing or blaming. Um, that isn't you know, we're not about making people feel bad about their bodies or trying to tell them that they're bad parents. That's kind of missing the point. That's not really what this is about. So I want to be careful to remain cognizant of people's feelings so that we ourselves are not contributing to further harm. With that said, I would like to introduce tonight's panel. And I'm going to start off with Austin, aka Oz, the great and powerful executive producer here at The Bryce is Right and creator of Tang. Oz, how's it going? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for having me on. How are you? Appreciate appreciate you coming. And uh, also from Tang, specifically Tart, the Atheist Roundtable, we've got Murder Shed Steve. And uh, Murder Shed Steve may or may not know a thing or two about chopping body parts. You know, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, I actually just picked myself up a new tool I was tuning up here. Um, the Circumciser. Ouch. Ouch. One of my favorites. Well, I'm definitely well, pro-circumcision as long as I'm performing. Um, God, well, God help anybody who, who is uh, on the operating table of Murder Shed Steve. But um, we're going we're gonna to introduce another guest coming, coming from down under, all the way from Melbourne, Australia. We've got Damien, mm -hmm. a.k.a. the tall, friendly atheist dad. Damien, G'day. how's it going? G'day, Bryce. How you going, mate? G'day, mate. G'day. Um, our uh, Hugh Jackman sound alike, in, in my opinion. So, so Probably not, but... but uh, it's, Bricey, it's... Hey, how you going, buddy? What's going on? We're talking about <laughs> chopping dicks off. We are, we are. Um, in, in, in a very sensitive and uh, politically correct manner, yes. As much as, as much as possible, sure. Indeed. Yeah, and you are here to really kind of give us our non-American perspective on this. Because, correct. Well, know, actually, well, actually, I um, I'm in one of those camps where... Um, I've got a son, and I actually considered uh, circumcising at one stage. So that might be let's, pertinent to the debate. Let's get back to that, because I am going to yeah. ask a couple of people about that. But last and certainly not least, I want to bring in my lovely co-host, Sunny Shell, who is here to offer the female perspective. And I believe uh, Sunny is also a mother of boys as well. So she can offer us a mother's perspective as well. Sunny, how's it going? It's going good. Um, Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, I, it's going to be interesting having a female on here talking about, you know, Penises. the off of, of parts of a penis. Um, I, like I said in the backstage, you know, since women's reproductive issues are being mandated and talked about by men, we should have had more women on here. Fair game. Yeah. 100%. So, 
<laughs> and that is that is noted for future reference because I'm I'm sure this won't be a one time deal. But um, uh, you have kids. Uh, Damien has kids. I think Oz has kids as well. Am I correct? Uh, I have like a basketball team. You have a basketball <laughs> team. What, what is what is the male to female ratio in the uh, in the Oz household? Well, uh, my biological children. That I was part of making that decision. It's two boys, two girls. Cool. So at least there's that. Yeah, it seems somewhat balanced. Uh, do you have any kids, Steve? I have a stepson. Stepson, gotcha. Mm -hmm. I so I am childless, so I cannot speak uh, from the parental perspective on this. But fortunately, my uh, panel is diverse enough to to be able to speak to that. So now I want to say, as a general rule, I do not reveal my own circumcision status publicly in discussions like this because I find that it biases the conversation. Um, I don't think it's particularly relevant to the arguments that are being made, whether they're for or against. And I think truth should stand up to scrutiny and arguments should prevail on their own merit. So um, I, I have in the past, you know, told people who have asked and and I'm happy to do that on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but I find that when I just come out there and say which one I am, people will automatically assume that's why you're against it. Cause you know, for both reasons, for both ways, you know, if, if I say that I'm not, then they'll be like, well, you're just biased cause you know, you're not circumcised. So of course you're gonna be against it. But if I say that I am, then they'll be like, oh, well you are and you just regret it. So. Of course, you're going to be against it. So it kind of does. It's like I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. So but um, with that being said, the guests here, you are free to reveal as much information about yourselves as you want or as little information as you want. Um, and you are free to keep private whatever you want. We are here to talk about the topic. So um, well, that being said, I got to say I am circumcised. And I did it myself when I was three. I bet you did, Steve. I bet you did. You, you seem like the type. <laughs> um, with that being said, let's uh, cut to the chase. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, is snip, anyone snip, here? Morris, come on. <laughs> what? Snip, snip. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Cutting to the chase. Um, I might as well just. I'm just going to get it. Uh, you know, right out there. Is anyone? Is anyone pro circumcision? Because I mentioned that at the beginning of the show that I'm against it. But um, does anyone think that want to argue, like maybe kind of educate me as to what I'm missing and why um, why it could be considered a good thing? Um, right off the bat, the only thing that I can say is uh, if somebody chooses to get circumcised for whatever reason they choose to do so, whether it be religion or whatever, um, they should be allowed to do that as perhaps maybe an 18 year old um, mm. just like how many other operations can be done um you know for various reasons if somebody wants to do it they should be able to do it right that's interesting um yeah and that but that is important to say because a lot of times when you say you're anti-circumcision people think that that applies to you think that the whole thing should be banned. No, of course not. If anyone wants it done for whatever reasons, they should be able to, it's like any other cosmetic surgery. You know, if you want uh, an enhancement of something or a reduction of something else, you know, people have those kinds of things done all the time. Sometimes they're medical, sometimes they're not. So it's not that I'm against circumcision. It's, I am just against this happening to someone else you know, when there's not a medical reason. Sometimes there are medical reasons from, from what I'm told. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to be one, um, but I have heard that there have been medical indications for it. It's just not usually the case, you know? So when it's not usually the case, I don't generally think it's a good idea, but I don't know. What do you, uh, what do you think, Oz? Uh, I agree with that. It, it, you know, it's a, what would, what would we call that? A, an an electric, uh, an elective, you know, surgery or, um, you know, procedure. If you're 18 or you know whatever, an adult, and can make that decision for yourself, then ha have at it. So it's not something I would sign up for as a grown <laughs> man. Um, but, <laughs> but do you? Do you? But when uh, when it comes down to uh, children, you know, I, I don't. I just don't see the purpose. 
I don't, I don't see, you know, unless there's some extreme medical situation like where this is going to save someone's life. Um, I don't, well, why, why would we do it? And um, yeah, I know we'll get into the Bible part of this and how, how all this started here in, here in a minute, but uh, as of, as of today, um, no, and, and that's coming from somebody that both my sons are circumcised and now being on the other side of religion. Um, I, I won't say re regret, but when I do think about it as far as implications um, and me and their mom just making that decision for them, I do feel like it, not to be no pun intended, but I feel like a dick, you know, and it's like, what, you know, what, what, you know, why did we, what did we feel like we had to do that? Why, what was the purpose in it? Well, you know, um, and then what's the payoff, you know? Um, right. That's, I, I question that all the time. And I don't, I don't know that I have an answer. So I've actually, I mean, I've heard actually quite a few arguments uh, for and against, right? Uh, oddly enough, for some reason, I'm just always talking about dicks and, you know, all that kind of stuff. In any case, I could uh, psychoanalyze that if if you want, but that would that would lead I'm us down a couple of rabbit holes. Extraordinarily Freudian in just about everything that I do. 